Sneak up the stairs, please. And I'm gonna I would go like to walk behind him, very not sneaking. <laughs> I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna say, okay, guys. I'm gonna go up the stairs. You will wait down here, okay? I'm gonna shoot you up the ass with a crossbow. If I see anything, I'll make the following noise. I wait on the landing. <laughs> no, no, you're not understanding the plan. Right. Okay. I understand you're, your plan. If, you, if you're waiting on the landing, I'm gonna stand at the bottom and go. <laughs> I run up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Just, 
<laughs> just, just, just let me shoot him. Just let me shoot him. I got a 12 on my stealth. How does that help? <laughs> he's pretty stealthy, but I mean, he's right there. Uh, you get upstairs, and there are four doors off of the hallway, as you can see from the map that you can see. Yep. I'm going to guess there's probably not much in this room. <laughs> Hey, I open the door and try it. Hey, I'm just going to quickly... I'm going to stealthily open the door. Well, not that stealthily, on a 12. Uh, so most... Uh, boom! <laughs> that was most, to get up the stairs, thank you. Most of the furnishings in this room were destroyed when the rock flattened the northwest corner of the inn, yes. Shocker. Yep. Uh, hanging on the east wall is a tapestry depicting a mountain landscape. Uh, and tucked under the window in the southeast corner is a locked chest. I Ooh. shut the door behind me and I go to the chest. <laughs> it is a chest. I would like to attempt to unlock the aforementioned chest. Do you have thieves tools? No. Ah. Ooh, okay. actually. Hold on. I do. <laughs> I think I do. Do I, I think... hear him go into a room and then nothing happens? What you hear is he went up the stairs, a door opened, and then a door closed. Cool, I go up the stairs. Well, he's obviously dead, we should leave him. <laughs> oh my god. No, no, no. None, of, none of you are paying attention to the plan. <laughs> no, I just don't like your plan. Your plan sucks, fuck this. <laughs> okay, you guys yeah, get up the stairs. There are, four, there are four doors. I hate you guys. <laughs> you don't see your friend. Well, I'm going to go take this one over here at this end. This one. That one. Oh. Um, yep, and then I'm going to I'm going to try and stealthy open it. Yeah, okay. I'm a simple man. I'll try and open the door that's nearest to me when I get up the stairs. <laughs> uh, Andy, you open the door and find Michael. <laughs> you didn't make the noise. <laughs> I wasn't in, That's because yeah. I wasn't in trouble. But you shut the door. I thought something had happened. I shut the door to be sneaky. <laughs> Hence the stealth. I don't Hence like your the... in this door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate every single one of you. Well, I can always shoot you and just get it over with. Okay. Sean, you yes. find... <laughs> You'd have to hit something. <laughs> a vacant bedroom with two beds, an empty wardrobe, a desk, a matching chair, an oil lamp sits on one corner of the desk, another rests on the small table tucked between the two beds, and a bearskin lug rug. Bearskin rug lies on the floor. I'll give a cursory look around the room because I'm presuming this is going to be an empty room, like a vacated room. It is indeed an empty room. How um, long is the bearskin rug? You're not wearing it as a cape. I want to wear it as a cape. You're not wearing the fucking bearskin. Actually, you know what? Let, let him wear it as a cape. <laughs> Let him have one. He'll be easier to manipulate later if we give him what he wants now. Only, only if he takes the second one and makes a loincloth, because looking at his dick is weird. Why are you look? He's not naked. Why are you looking at his dick? You said he was naked. You he said he was naked. No, we said he wasn't wearing armor. I'm going to check this room that's ahead of me. I am also checking this room. Um, okay. Before you do that, before you do that I'd, like to, I'd, I'd, I'd like to stop you and go, does anyone have fee thieves tools? I do! <laughs> I don't, I found, I found a chest that we might want to try and open. It's locked. It could have goodies inside. <laughs> <laughs> I literally shove him out the way. <laughs> it's quite impressive I... for a gnome. <laughs> he, just, he, just, he just sprinted between your legs and knocked your dick with his hat. <laughs> literally, my gun kind of like goes a bit too close to your junk. Like That's kind of okay. Of I'm into that. It a bit, it. <laughs> Give it a sniff. See what it smells like. It steams. Steam uh, those... out of the bottle. What Just are those the... fumes? What's this smell like? Yeah. One of my favorite moments that came in that so late. You go to the gutter team and the wood and cowering in the door. And then you start to interrogate the question that somebody noticed. She had a snake around her arm. Yeah. And one history check later. Sean has raised his gun to the water. Michael's raised his hand to the water. Michael can come up. And Michael shoots him in the chest. Yeah, they're perfectly all right. Yeah, they're only more like dwarf 
Schweitzer, who's nearly died once. We've got a no Martin Messer, who's nearly died once. We've got a Team Wing Warrior, who's nearly died twice. Two died twice, one of them because she took a good life, she took home a good life, but then we went straight to the French or something like that. I don't quite know what happened there. But yeah, that's our DMD group, that's uh, every Wednesday 4.30. I've had two two Timmerman strawberry beers. I think. He's oh god! Out. Why are you trying to blow me up? Eep. Was it a homing missile? It was a homing missile. Yay! I remembered. So, quick story about that. When you're editing a video together, sometimes you know what the clips are going to be because you were there obviously, so you know what the big series of events was going to happen. I didn't know that this time, I just barely missed job when we shot it. <laughs> so when we came, I found out about this. <laughs> I didn't know it was going to be a I just saw the um, lines <laughs> going red and I just pressed the fire button. I didn't actually clue what I was going to do. <laughs> so when we came to edit it, and I see that lines red, I see the missile just hit, just missed the job. I thought, that's going into the video. And that's probably my favourite thing about making these videos. Sometimes you think you know what's going to happen, but sometimes something happens I didn't expect, and those are always my favourite moments. I'm going to take over now and talk about uh, Shadow of War. You're nervous. Uh, I've been streaming Shadow of War. It is an awesome game. It is the follow up to Shadow of Model. And in the game I'm sure nobody here has ever heard of. Nobody here has ever heard of Shadow of War. Anybody here heard of Model? <laughs> it features the Nemesis system, where an uh, enemy can become more powerful and confront you multiple times throughout. And in Shadow Mordor, I was frequently confronted with an orc named Crackhorn Ugly Face, <laughs> for he had an ugly face. They are very simple, but their naming is schematics. I picked up Shadow War thinking, finally! The scourge of Crackhorn Ugly Face, for he is in a completely different game. There is no way that Crackhorn Ugly Face can follow me from one game to the sequel of that game. I then play through the tutorial and I get to the point in the game where you find your first war chief, who is one of the bigger and more impressive orcs. And I am confronted with the following screen. Uh, can I have my screenshot, please? This is the details of the first war chief I had to fight. It tells you a little bit about him. So he is heavily damaged by beast attacks. There's his armor. The screenshot's gone away. He is coming back. He's coming here. He is a poisonous dark berserker. He is legendary. But you might not be able to see it because they put it in orange text. His name. He's Crackhorn Manbreaker. <laughs> How did he fall <laughs> away? <laughs> it's a completely separate game. It doesn't even cross over at all. I think they want to be done. I think this guy's going to be So Spider it's happening, and I'm going to leave him now before the, uh, the cube has come again. <laughs> so when the third game comes out, Shadow of whatever. Shadow of Essex. I'm guessing because apparently it's just going to be Sam where I live and Crackle is just going to be I mean, it's not going to be playing Time anymore, it's going to be playing me. And I'm much less interested than Time. I won't comment on that. I mean, it, it, it's, you know, I'm not a ring, uh, ring control, wraith of power of a guy. I make no sense. Shall I stay going for a bit? Yep. So one of the things that um, occasionally happens is we get sent games by developers for review or for let's plays for video content. And recently we were sent a game called The Door Suite. 
this one of them in themselves. They sent me to go and reset the Wi-Fi so I could log in and use this voucher. Okay. So, Lord, they sent you to turn it off and then on again. They sent me to turn. They sent me the guest to turn their Wi-Fi router off and on again. Okay. Play the Lord clip, please. Okay, let's keep looking. Hey, is that it over there? That looks like it. And it's got a big bus on it as well. Yeah, it looks like it what it was in the book, so let's press it. Looks like it's turned on. Yay! Uh, there's an eye. Why is there an eye in the wireless router? And it's following me? Okay. Okay, that's not freaky at all. Let's press on, shall we? Well, I can go back to the computer now. Let's go back to the computer and finish this thing. So far I've found a disembodied head in a bedside table. Although it was made of stone, but it still gave me a job. Some weird secret passages that don't make sense given the layout of the hotel. Some weird cult type business thing that's trying to take over the hotel. It's good, it's a good game to switch a game that you want to keep on playing to find out what's going on to see what happens next. So if you want to check it out, it's on Steam. Um, that's the normal suite. It was released early October, I believe. And if you are the PR promoter who sent us, there's the review. <laughs> it was a good game, but I would like to get back to it. Can we take some questions? I've only got the time for some questions. We only have two mics though, so some yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> so that was going to be a little more. I used to think comfortably, for I shall be doing a town. About uh, six years ago, I was working in a game in Harlem, and a friend of mine came up to me and said, You make videos. And I said, Yes, I do. And he said, I've got these scripts. And I said, Let me look at them. And I did. And then I said, I would like to make these scripts. And he said, Cool, I would like to make these scripts too. That's why I wrote them. And, uh,